Hey guys, today we're going to go over the top three reasons why you're probably seeing tons of white smoke pouring out your generator's exhaust. Let's get to it. All right, guys, keep in mind that when you see white smoke coming out of the exhaust, that is simply the result of oil burning up in the combustion chamber. So reason number one for oil getting into the combustion chamber would be that your oil level is just too full. So when you remove the dipstick here, on most generators, unless your manual says otherwise, you're going to want to see the oil level right here at the top of the threads of the housing where the dipstick goes in. If yours is higher than that, comes flooding out, you definitely have too much. Um, how oil, extra oil gets in there is usually when a previous owner or maybe you yourself did it, but when you fill it up, since the fill hole is down here, it's hard to get anything in there to pour. Um, if you don't have a funnel handy, a lot of people will turn their generator up on a 45 degree angle and then directly pour the oil in. And then when it's standing upright, when you stick the dipstick down and you see the oil level on the dipstick, you think it's good. Remember that the hole is now almost vertical or it's raised up. So when you're reading a good reading there, once you set it down, that oil is actually up here. So the, how that gets in to the combustion chamber um, this is the combustion chamber right here. This is the piston, the cylinder walls around it. Um, when that piston goes down and up like that, every time it goes down, instead of just being lubricated like splashed on, there's a little, uh, I forget what it's called, down in the crankcase that splashes everything with oil and lubricates it. Instead of just being splashed, it has, it's basically sitting in a puddle on the back end of it. So it's just picking up copious amounts of oil and that's too much oil for the rings to keep down. So they can handle the splashing amount of oil, but when it's just absolutely coated in oil and it's just splashing around in a puddle of it, it's going to bring the oil up through the piston rings. Once it gets on top of your piston, um, you'll have your intake right here, which would bring in the air and gas mixture. This will compress, the spark plug will fire and it'll burn up oil and the result will be white smoke leaving the exhaust out this way. And now we'll get to reason number two. All right, reason number two is that you have damaged piston rings or maybe they're misaligned. Uh, that or a scored um, cylinder wall will all accomplish the same thing of oil being able to get by. So on your piston, you have three different rings that keep uh, combustion gases from going down into the crankcase and keep oil from coming up from the crankcase. So it's supposed to keep everything separate. If your rings are uh, damaged, broken or whatnot, then that's going to allow oil to get by, obviously. Um, if you have a cylinder ring or cylinder wall, I'm sorry, that is scored, and that can happen by, for instance, if you have lots of carbon buildup like this, this is the head that mounts on there. So then you have the valves, you have the spark plug there, you have your exhaust over here, and this is where the carburetor would mount onto. Um, with that excess carbon, sometimes that will crystallize basically into hard, you know, like charcoal-like chunks, and they'll fall down. And this thing's going 3,600 RPMs, and a little piece of that will fall down, and then this thing will keep spinning with that carbon in there, it'll get wedged between and it'll cut a groove. And once it cuts that groove in there, the oil is free to just flow right by. It'll just wick right by because the seals on the pistons can no longer, um, they can't seal that groove that's cut out. And then the last reason I kind of forgot to mention was if your piston rings are misaligned. So you have three rings. They all are like a very tight C, but they leave a gap. So you want to space those gaps. You want one here, one here, one here. You want to stagger them out. If you line all of those little gaps up, then it allows oil to fr uh, flow freely right through those gaps. Makes an easier path for them. And now we will hit up reason number three. Okay, reason number three. And remember, all of these are reasons why, not just why your engine is burning oil, but why you're going to see lots of white smoke. So you're getting lots of oil in the combustion chamber. So we talked about damaged piston ring. Uh, the scored cylinder, misaligned piston rings, or your crankcase is just too full of oil. Uh, the last reason that I'm very familiar with is that you have a blown head gasket here. So 
a lot of times your head gasket can blow just to the external which this would be the combustion chamber and then it would blow right out here so it's going to suck in air from here and it's going to shoot out exhaust from here um, that's not going to really lead to the white smoke what's going to lead to the white smoke is if you have an internally blown um, head gasket say from here to here where this right here uh, is where the oil travels up and gets sprayed on to the top of the valves. So that hole right there, where you can actually see the oil on there, uh, the oil comes out of there through that passage, travels through, if you can follow that, and it dumps out from right there. And then that drips and sprays onto the valves to keep them lubricated. Anything, any of the excess oil just drains down and then it'll fall through this hole and go right back down to the crankcase. So if you have a blown head gasket here, every time the piston, which essentially is a pump and it creates a vacuum, every time it goes down, it sucks in air to fill that new void. It increases the surface area. It has to fill that with something. And the easiest way is either through the carburetor, but if you have a blown head gasket, it'll suck in the oil spray that's coming up here to lubricate everything. And then once it comes up and combusts, it'll blow the exhaust back into there, down into your uh, um, crankcase. And then it'll shoot out white exhaust as well through the actual exhaust. So if you have a blown head gasket like that, an easy way to tell is after your engine's been running and shooting out white smoke, pull out your dipstick. If you see white smoke um, and white exhaust coming out, or it'd actually be yeah, black and white exhaust coming out of your uh, your uh, crankcase, sorry, getting tongue-tied, then if you see smoke coming out of your dipstick hole, then you know you have a blown head gasket. Well, guys, I hope this helped you out in diagnosing why your generator is blowing tons of white smoke out the exhaust. Remember, it's not the only reason why your generator might be burning oil, but it's probably the top three reasons why you're seeing a huge plume of the white exhaust. So uh, feel free to check out uh, my article about this link below um, and visit my website homebatterybank.com where we cover everything about generators, battery banks, inverters, and just dealing with power outages in general. Thanks for visiting.